you hate Jesus, then just keep scrolling. But if you love Jesus, then stick around and watch until the end. God is saying to you today, you've got to ask yourself what you're living for, who you're living for, and if none of those answers begin with you, then you're living your life wrong. You're living a lie. Everything you do should revolve around you. Every person, every place, every moment should start and end with you. This is your life and you shouldn't spend it on dull things, in people who don't understand the type of love you carry within your bones. Because you only live once, and it's your job to make it count. So let every day be yours. Own it, and never apologize for being who you are. Type, I am awareness to affirm. Today's message for me, you're free to cry it out if you must, but you're still going to see the blessing when God's done molding you. The pruning hurts. The molding is uncomfortable. But child of God, you are becoming. There's beauty in the process of becoming something remarkable. You have so many new adventures that await your arrival. So many new faces to await your love. So many new souls to touch in the process. Wow, it's rather beautiful, the person you become in the end. The power that radiates from your pain and heals others. The glory in the midst. Wow, God is good. Type 1111 if you free this. Today's message for you, you don't meet anyone in this life by accident. Some are sent to teach you what love is. Some are sent to teach you what love most definitely isn't. Some are sent to support you without bias. And those you must hold very dear indeed. Others are sent to challenge your self-worth, never let them win. Some people are taken far too soon, and the lesson there is to live life fully here and now. Some people are sent to try and stop you from reaching your goals. Let their negativity be your fuel, not your defeat. You don't meet anyone in this life by accident, my friend. Each person brings with them a joy, a love, or a lesson. Type, I believe in myself to affirm. Today's message for you, in between where you are and where you want to be, there is endless, boundless peace. There is an opportunity to be still as you find yourself in the gap between the past and the future, knowing that this is the space where you were called to come alive. And it's okay if you feel uncertain here. You don't have to have it all figured out. You are free to take this moment by moment and see the wholeness of it all. Some things will be difficult. Some things will be easier. Some things will make sense, while other things leave you with questions. But altogether, these mountains and volleys create a landscape, where somehow, through it all, everything finds its place. Type, I love God, if you really love God. Today's message for me, it's okay if you don't know what to feel, if you don't know what you want, and if you can't figure things out as you go. It's okay to not want something you work so hard on getting after realizing it wasn't what you thought it was. It's okay to change your mind, to make mistakes, to walk away from someone you once loved, from something that meant the world to you. It's okay, because this is your life your cause, your body, your beliefs, your mind, your heart, and your feelings. You don't need validation from no one other than you, and I hope it doesn't take you a lifetime to realize that. Type Amen if you believe this. Today's message for you. What if, 
In the moments you feel most alone, you begin to realize that you are also free. What if you could see that in these very moments you fear most, you are also completely unburdened from the expectations of others, able to define and redefine yourself, to explore life on your own terms, to hear the sound of your own voice? What if being on your own, in any capacity, is a sign of self-sufficiency and courage? What if you've already made it? What if instead of believing your aloneness is a sign you have failed, you realize that it is proof you have accomplished the most daring task of all? Type 33. 33. If you believe this, today's message for you, because you fucked up, that's why, and the reasons no longer matter. That's water that has long since passed under a bridge burning out of control. And I have no desire to swim those currents ever again. So don't think you can come back here acting like everything's okay. Because it's not. Nothing is okay. And you should remember one thing. Trying to backpedal over a burning bridge will only light your ass on fire. Type 44. 44. If you agree this, God says today, everyone is at different stages of consciousness. There is a certain stage you reach where your intent is to only speak your truth, not convince others of it. You being to realize that everyone has their own path. In other words, you cannot convince a baby to walk when it is at the stage of crawling. To convince them of the truth is irrelevant. Type, I'm optimistic if you're ready. Today's message for you, when we look outward for answers, we will always find conflicted reasoning. But when we find the quiet and look inward for answers, we listen to that little part of universal energy called soul. And that is where the truest answers are found. God message today's change no one, change nothing, react to no one, react to nothing, do not live in the past and do not worry about the future, stay in the eternal now, where all is well, after all you are me and I am you, there's no difference, do not react to the world, do not even react to your own body. Do not even react to your own thoughts. Learn to become the witness. Learn to be quiet. You must always remember this, that no matter what you're going through, no matter what appears to have come upon you that you consider negative, it's a blessing in disguise. Sounds strange but true. It's a blessing in disguise, believe it or not. If you handle it in the right way, and you work through it by not reacting to it, it will turn into something so beautiful you can't imagine. I can assure you of this. But if you react, you may win. You may get your point across. That will only last a short while. Then you'll have to go through the condition again and again, perhaps with other people, and you'll never know why you suffer so much. Type I am God's child to affirm this to.